Shalom, shalom. First of all, before we get started, I like to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, the Kakadash, and double on to those great millstones where I learned from, and also to the whole let that scattered abroad. I like to say, shalom. And come make you today with another great, powerful lesson through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So the type of day, let's near that in the last days, perilous time shall come. So I like to say, shalom to all I listen and learn. Hope this will help you today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And not about in the last days what perilous time shall come upon us, which in fact was an evil time, a great tribulation period that we have never seen before. And not about we're living it, what real time we're seeing that we're at the brink of what World War Three. We're seeing that what nations are constantly arising against another. We're seeing that, you know, that uh, 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 America is constantly at what, what they can constantly what are collapsing we're seeing that the economy is is constantly collapsing we're seeing that we're at the end of the dollar and that about we're seeing that you know what i'm saying this new world order is getting ready to roll out with the fact this uh, this new digital society and that about we're not you will not be able to what to buy or sell we're seeing that all sorts of uh, uh strange weather is throughout the world you know what i'm saying flooding in california you know what i'm saying earthquakes in diverse places you know rumors of wars are all over the place and uh, in bible prophecy what are constantly jumping off the pages left and the right and that about we're seeing that what our supply chain line is breaking out. So the sown places are becoming unsown. A lot of things are happening all around the world. We're seeing what uh, 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 wickedness is uh, increasing. We're seeing we read upon what judgment. And out about it, we are here. It is at the door. In the middle of the Lord, we constantly what? Sign and cry. Left and right. Hey, man, it is at the door. Evils are growing all around us. And out about it, we're seeing that, you know, all of the signs of the times are here. And out about it, it's time to what? To watch pray and be sober. It's time to what? To seek the Lord while he can be found. So the title of the daily lesson, once again, is that in the last days, perilous time shall come. So let's get started with the videos. Then after the video, we will start the lesson. And I hope that you will get edified. My we are guy, in the last days. There are major climate issues around the world. And coincidentally, you are in Australia, Michael, for something that has got the world on edge. And I need to understand from you whether this is unique and specific to Australia or whether this is the sign of things to come uh, with scorched earth and hot days and long fire seasons that burn lots and lots of land and kill lots and lots of animals. Where there will be uh, disasters thanks, after be disasters. You. And sadly, it's, it's the latter. Uh, what we are witnessing right now in the form of these unprecedented bushfires in Australia is the impact of human-caused climate change. You warm up the planet, you dry out the continents in the summers in subtropical regions that are already dry, you're going to get these epic wildfires. We've seen it in California, and now we're seeing it here in Australia. California, already pounded by a bomb cyclone last week that brought hurricane force winds, torrential rain, flooding, and mountain snow, is now in the throes of yet another atmospheric river storm, a weather system transporting a high concentration of moisture and dumping epic amounts of heavy rain. We are into atmospheric river number five. But just last week, several counties in the state were experiencing the exact opposite, exceptional drought. Marked by the deep red on this map, it's considered the most severe. Although California's recent parade of ultra-wet storms have not completely reversed the decades-long dry spell, flood warnings have now replaced severe drought warnings in the same areas. This weather whiplash is forcing California to face the dilemma of more sickness and diseases get ready the worst is yet to come pay attention My we are we're warning that that we are in the eye of the storm we're being distracted by news like the royal family while the building blocks of technocratic totalitarianism are being set up around us step by step as we speak step one of the digital id is already in place in Australia. They did it through the director's IDs. While AI is scanning your face every time you go in, they are monitoring your facial expressions to see how you interact with the technology around you, with the products, with absolutely everything, with human beings, so that AI can harvest that data about you and build its 
super Satan computer that's going to work against people. Apart from that, they're, they're pushing the UBIs. Uh, updates from around the world, I can tell you that Australia introduced this idea all the way back in 2016. And then in 2021, the ABC announced with a headline, basic income is considered a radical idea. But in 2020, we lived it and some people want it back. And it's true. Kids are talking about not wanting to work now. I saw an interview on a mainstream media outlet of a kid saying, no, why do I need to work? The government will pay me to stay home. You'll be paid by the globalists to eat bugs in pods and Bill Gates patent 060606 will allow your biometric data to help you mine crypto when you do what the globalists want you to do. But there's already a plan for this. And the World Economic Forum calls them smart cities, which seems great. Progressive urban designers like the UK headquartered uh, ARUP group, they have their own section on the WEF website. They're gaming what smart cities might look like. It's kind of exciting. What would life be like in these cities? Well, here you go. Their plan for 2030, your family will eat zero amounts of meat and zero amounts of dairy. Each person will be restricted to 2,500 calories a day. What? Each family member will only receive three new items of clothing per year. This is on the World Economic site. There will be zero privately owned vehicles. This article on the uh, website actually quotes Klaus Schwab and his references uh, in the fourth industrial revolution. They talk about utilizing technologies like 5G, quantum computing, artificial intelligence for, quote, reshaping the built environment. I got to tell you, this is the scariest stuff I have ever written. I mean, Utopians in 1984, that stuff couldn't be done 20 years ago. This is George Orwell on steroids, and it all can be done and is being done. But there's already a plan for this. And the world... There is no doubt we are uh, at the brink of a nuclear war. Again. And not for the first time. 60 years ago, this month, or in October, we were at the hair's breadth of nuclear conflict. And uh, the United States was ready for a nuclear war uh, and, in fact, had uh, Kennedy's advisors prevailed on Kennedy to launch an attack against Cuba uh, in the Cuban Missile Crisis, as all of his advisors said, we would have had a full nuclear war. <clears throat> and we're playing with this fire right now. Putin is not bluffing. And Zelensky is completely wrong to say we're going to militarily defeat Russia and push them out of Crimea. Because if that happens, there will be a nuclear war before that ends. And we should tell him that. But we don't speak the truth either in the international scene. The Ukrainians are reckless in their rhetoric. Okay, they're fighting an aggressor. But we cannot have a nuclear war over this issue. And we have no plans to avoid one right now. So let's start today's lesson. Let's start off in uh, Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 46. We'll start there. We're living in these perilous times. We see it right happening right before our eyes. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 46. We'll start here. And it reads that... And, and lest your heart faint, and ye fear for the rumor that shall be heard in the land. A rumor shall both come one year, and after that in another year shall come a rumor and violence in the land, rulers against rulers. So we seeing what all sorts of rumors all across the world, you know, what the brink of what nuclear war, World War Three is upon. We seeing what are uh, they talking about this, what this global reset, this digital society, these digital IDs, you know, will not be able to buy us here. They want to what track and tag. A lot of rumors are coming down the pipeline. What the uh universal or uh, basic in income, you know what I'm saying? Uh 
uh, uh, social uh, uh, credit scores. You know, a lot of things are happening. You know what I'm saying? Biometrics, uh, robotics, AI. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of things are coming down the pipeline. Rumors of uh, uh, wars, uh, earthquakes, diverse. But a lot of things are happening. So a lot of people are becoming afraid. You know, it's great fear. is falling upon people. And I had to buy the head. Uncertainty, you know what I'm saying? Famine in the land. A lot of things are getting ready to happen. Supply chain lines are breaking down. So we're constantly hearing all of these rumors. The evils are growing all around us. You know what I'm saying? They're telling you about these uh uh these uh power grids are being uh intentionally uh being uh, attacked. You know what I'm saying? So we are going to have what rolling blackouts, you know what I'm saying? Uh cyber attacks. So those are the rumors, you know, here and there. So things are increasing. So we're living in these perilous times. They're upon us. And how about hey, it's time to repent. So now let's go to uh one moment. Let's go to uh uh second area chapter uh 15. One moment. Second area chapter 15. No, before we go there, let's go to Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 1. Let's go here first. Get another one before we open up the lesson. One moment. Isaiah chapter 10, Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 1. And it reads, said, Woe to them that decree unrighteous decree, that they uh, write uh, grievousness, which they have prescribed or authorized. And now that we're seeing is getting ready to come down the uh, pipeline. You know, they, these were lockdown, climate lockdown, a medical lockdown. You know what I'm saying? Talking about this C-19. You understand what I'm saying? I have to be careful what I say. We already knowing that what the C-hip is coming. We knowing that the hokey pokey is getting ready to come back into play. So they're getting ready to come up to come forth with that what agenda, that evil plan, that evil devices. And I about, hey, we're here. So the rumors are rolling all across the world. And I about things are increasing. We're seeing what nation are rising against nation. You know what I'm saying? So all hell can break loose at any given time. So now, Let's go to second uh Ezra chapter 15. One moment. Second Ezra chapter 15. And we'll start up at verse uh let's start up at verse 5. Second Ezra chapter 15, and we'll start up at verse 5. <clears throat> and it reads that, Behold, says the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world of uh, the sword, of uh, famine, death, and destruction. So that is about so we seeing that's coming upon the earth. We're seeing that the Lord is getting ready to bring that sword. What? Nuclear war, World War Three, the indignation of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh. And also he said famine. So we're seeing what the unsown places becoming unsown. We're seeing what the supply chain line is breaking down. And also we already had rumors of uh, uh that uh that you know it's talking about a railroad strike. You know, so a lot of things that are, uh, may come into play, but that about we're still are not ignorant of Satan device. And that about we know it's gonna be food short. We know that what starvation is gonna come back in a big way. We know that our, uh, our, our monetary system, as we know it, this fiat currency is getting ready to go. We're at the end of the dollar. So, you know, once the dollar uh, uh, end, you know what I'm saying, and the economy crash, then we know that we're all hell would break loose. You know, it would be a lawless time. And I about it. We are here. So the Lord is bringing the plagues and they're not slacking down for a moment. So now let's start back up. Uh, verse six. And it reads that for wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth and there are Hurtful works are fulfilled. So right now, you know, we're right upon judgment. The Lord is getting ready to cleanse this place with what? With that fervent heat. Recompensing judgment is upon us. Not about it. Hey, you know, the Lord is very displeased. The Lord is angry with the wicked each and every day. And not about it. We're here, man. We're exact, excited because what? Our salvation is very close than we yet believe. So now, let's drop down to uh, secondary chapter 15. We'll, we'll start back up at verse 14. And it reads that, Woe to the world and them that dwell uh, uh, therein. Verse 5, For the sword and their destruction draws nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight uh, against another, and swords in their hand. So we know we're coming upon that time. You know what I'm saying? And I had about it, you know what I'm saying? We know a war is in the land. We know that America will be attacked. You know what I'm saying? It's already been prophesied that what America, which in fact is Babylon the Great, will be destroyed. They will have swords in hand. What the modern day gun. And I had about kill or be killed. So when that start back up in verse 16, it said, For there uh, shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand uh, in their power. Verse 17, any man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. So that everybody, we know when they get ready to come with these unrighteous decrees, these lockdowns, you know, cannot go here, cannot go there. These, what, 15 minute cities, you know, they want to track and tag, you know what I'm saying? Carving footprinting. And everybody, hey, 
a lot of people will consent. We're lining up, and that about you will be totally destroyed. So that about when that time of trouble come, when the people, a lot of people, are gonna have what it's gonna be what met with what great resistance, and that about so they won't will not regard the the law enforcement, not the government, not even uh anyone. You know what I'm saying? So it's gonna be a time that we have never seen before. That is what Jacob's trouble. It is at the door, and that about rumors are all over the place. You know, of hell is breaking loose, and that about hey, the Bible is a true book. So now to start back up. Uh, verse, uh, and see, you won't be able to also be able to go in this city because of what the lockdowns, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if you don't have the what the digital ID, you know what I'm saying? And I, but you're not a part of that beast banking system, a part of this what 5G blockchain system. You understand what I'm saying? Revelation chapter 13, you know what I'm saying? It's breaking it down plain and clear at the end, it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry. Wait for it, it shall surely come. It's at the door. So now let's start back up. At uh, verse 19, second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with, uh, with the sword and spoil their goods because the lack of bread and great tribulation. And out about we're coming upon that great tribulation period that we have never seen before. You know what I'm saying? Perilous times are upon us. And out about we're seeing a lot of wickedness, a lot of disobedience. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are walking in great pride and covenants. And out about the Lord is getting ready to judge this place. And out about we are here, judgment is upon us. And the Lord said, first, my judgment will start at the house of Israel, meaning that you wicked Negroes, you wicked Latinos, you wicked uh, a native Indian, also you wicked Mexican. And I about, hey, we are here. And I about, the Lord is getting ready to clean this place up. And man, we cannot wait. We are very, very close, man. We are very close. We are very excited. The Lord is getting ready to lay all our enemies down. Man, we cannot wait. So now, let's go to uh, Second Ezra chapter uh, uh, 6. One moment. Second Ezra chapter six. One moment. Second Ezra chapter six. <clears throat> one moment. And we'll start up at verse uh, 18. Second Ezra chapter six. We'll start up at verse uh, 18. One moment. And it reads, really and, and it is said, behold, the days come that I will begin to draw nigh and to visit them that dwell upon the earth. Verse 19. Uh, and I will begin to make inquisition of them that uh, what they uh, be that have hurt unjustly with their unrighteousness, and when the affliction of Zion shall be fulfilled, and out about we're at the end of all our, our affliction, and the Lord's getting ready to judge this place for what the controversy of Zion. The Lord is visiting the earth that He created, and out about it, hey, we're here. That's why all these things are happening in the earth. We're seeing the flooding going over in California, all these different strange weather patterns. Uh, just today in uh in Alabama, I think uh so what Samaya. So, uh, 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 Samaya, uh, I think I'm saying it right. Uh, Alabama, that you know, uh, a Saline, a Saline, Alabama, uh, was a, a tornado today. So it, it tore up a lot of things. So the Lord said, Hey, he would, he would bring the what? The plagues upon the earth. And they're happening left and right, just like clockwork. If there are more to come. So now let's start back up at, uh, verse, uh, verse 20. And it reads, and, and when the world that shall be, uh, begin to, uh, vanish away shall be finished. Then will I show these tokens are the signs. The book shall be open before the firmament, and they shall see all together. And out about we're seeing all together, all of the signs of the time. And out about you know what all this truth and all this uh, uh knowledge is going out through the what firmament, which in fact is what the internet. And out about so a lot of people have access right now uh to to the internet, the social social uh media site, the news sites. You know what I'm saying? So hey man, this. And also the Lord said this wisdom and knowledge shall be preached throughout the entire world. Then shall the end come. And out about it will not be no excuses when the Lord return. And out about it, hey, we are here. It is at the door, the great day of the Lord and fast is approaching. Uh, that in that last days, perilous times shall come. A evil time, a perilous time, a troubling time, a time of what? A great tribulation, great death. Great sorrow, vexation of spirit. Hey, man, we are here. So now, let's go to uh, one moment. Let's drop down to uh, verse uh, 22. One moment. Second Ezra chapter 6 and verse 22. And it reads, And uh, and suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. Uh, the full storehouses shall suddenly 
be found empty. And that's about we seeing a disruption in the what uh, the supply chain. Like we seeing that a lot of companies are closing down. We seeing that you no know, it was rumors of a diesel shortage. You know what I'm saying? But we're measuring the time uh, diligently in itself. And we seeing that what our infrastructure is breaking down. We seeing that the economy is constantly crashing. We seeing that we're what we're at the end of the dollar. And that about once the dollar go, then that's the end of America. And that about then what all hell will break loose. Your necessity, your way of life is getting ready to change in ways that you do not know how. And out about it here, if you do not have faith, and out about it here, hey, you will be totally destroyed. So now, that's uh, one moment. And also, if the Lord is not dealing with you. So now, let's start back up at 2 Daniel chapter 6 and verse uh, 23. And it reads, And a trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man hears, they shall be suddenly afraid. And out about, hey, we are blowing the trump. And out about, it, so a lot of people still are walking, uh, you know, and not considering, still don't know what signs of the time, you know what I'm saying? Don't know who they are, don't know who their true power is, don't know what time that we're living in. And out about, it is at the door. What the trumpet is being sound, you know, and the one that is listening and the one that is heeding is what is the house of big, the true believers of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh. Shy. So now let's go to uh, Ezekiel. Let's get a quick precept. Let's go to Ezekiel chapter uh, four. One moment. Ezekiel chapter four. <clears throat> four and we'll start up at verse uh, 16. Ezekiel chapter 4 and verse 16. And it reads, said, it said, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, behold, I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem, and they shall eat bread by weight and with care, and they shall drink water by measure and with us. Uh, astonishment and out about hey man a lot of people gonna be a surprise they're gonna be in the fall rude away so what your necessity your way of life is getting ready to change in thy security you know what i'm saying when they say peace and safe the total destruction will come upon you and out about hey we in that time so so a lot of people right now they're eating good they're drinking good you know what i'm saying they have a place to stay a roof over their head you know what i'm saying plenty plenty of things you know what i'm saying lavish you know what i'm saying not thinking you know they are comfortable you know what i'm saying they're relaxed in their lease and out about all of a sudden all hell would break loose, and out of there, a lot of people gonna have a vaccination of spirit. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people what gonna be faint whore. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people what gonna line up like clockwork, and out of about hey, hey man, the Lord, and get ready to find out who is on his side. Out of you choose life or you choose death. Hey, we are here. It is at the door. So now let's start back up. Ezekiel chapter four and verse seventeen, and, and it reads that that they may want bread and water and be astonished one to another and consume away in their iniquity. And out about a lot of people going to be a surprise. A lot of people going to be what travailing like a woman with child. Vaxation of spirit. And out about because you what you did not believe. You did not have the faith. And out about you despise and you mock. And out about hey, you getting ready to pay. And out about we country one. But a lot of what the two third, they still thinking that this is a game and the game's about to be over. The Lord said he will cease the arrogancy of the proud. And out about the Lord is getting ready to break the staff of the bread. What your way of life. What your necessity. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you are Relaxing right now. You still thinking that you're a good case. And out of that, we're upon what these perilous times. Hey man, we are here. It is at the door. At the end, it shall speak and not lie. So now let's go to one moment. Let's go to Isaiah chapter uh, 55. Isaiah chapter 55, one moment. Isaiah chapter 55, and we'll start up at verse 6. One moment. One moment. So like let's go back out. 55. Isaiah chapter 55, and we'll start up at verse 6. And it reads, it says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. We what? We're in that what? Door repentance right now. And I about the door repentance is closed. The ceiling of the elect, and we're out of here. Amen. And we cannot wait. So now let's start back up. Verse 7. And it reads, said, Let the wicked forsake his way, the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and and to our power Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai for he will abundantly pardon and out about hey man it's time to come to repent return turn back you know what I'm saying you know ask the Lord to have mercy upon you. it's the Lord is dealing with you and out about it's going to be great death great mourning great sorrow and out about it, we're coming upon that time we upon judgment the indignation of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai these missiles are getting ready to fly and out about hey it's constantly increasing all over the world we're seeing that what the, uh, the heathens are raging they're imagining a vain thing thinking that they're going to be the next superpower but the hey talking about the new world order but the new world order what is coming is what the kingdom of heaven that dwells with
with righteousness. And that body we cannot wait. Immortality, rulership, spiritual power. So now, let's go to uh, Psalm chapter 97. We'll get ready to close out. Uh, Psalm chapter 97, one moment. Psalm chapter 97 and verse 10. One moment. <clears throat> And it reads, say, ye that love the Lord hate evil. He preserves the souls of his saints, the elect. He delivered them out of the hands of the wicked. So the Lord is getting ready to deliver us, you know, because our salvation is very close. And out about wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of the time. It will be a stronghold in times of trouble. So the Lord is getting ready to preserve us. He's getting ready to provide for us. And out about, and the Lord is getting ready to return. You know what I'm saying? And, oh man, we cannot wait. I'm a very excited. Rejoice ye heaven. So now let's go to our last and final strip. Let's go to Psalm chapter 9. And we'll start up at verse 9. One moment. Psalm chapter 9, and we'll start up at verse 9, and we'll close out. Uh, and it reads that the Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. The elect, verse 10, and they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. Who know the Lord's name? That is what is the elect, the house of David, the true believers of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Let's start back up. For thy Lord has not forsaken them that seek thee. And out about, we're seeking the Lord early. And out about, we're asking the Lord, how long, O oh Lord? We're asking the Lord that, we, that we're hoping that we're part of what? The hopeful elect. We're ready to get out of this nightmare and get back in our first estate and be with our Lord and Savior forever and forever. Immortality, rulership, spiritual power is right around the corner. And we cannot wait. The Lord is getting ready to return in the kingdom of heaven. It is at hand. So the title of the day lesson, once again, is that that in the last days, perilous times shall come. So I'd like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekha I'd like to say, Shalom, Shalom.